So today I'm going to try to do a quick video for what I am personally going to be doing for uh, February. I'm still working on Alice. She is coming out absolutely amazing. But I really wanted to show what I'm going to be doing for February today on the 1st. I'll do another video of me putting up. It'll probably be a time lapse because it takes forever to pit up. Um, I was going to do some events and then something happened for me to kind of reevaluate. Should I do the event or should I do something else? So I decided to do the something else. And because it is Black History Month and um, I think we all know that Cicely Tyson passed away and I just thought do something different. So I bought this painting and have had it forever. Never took it out the box, nothing. I saw it, I wanted it, and um, it was actually kind of hard to buy. But then with everything that was going on in the world, Diamond Art Club, I believe they brought it back for a limited time. And what they were doing was donating donating all the proceeds to go to Black Lives Matter if you purchase the painting. So this is it. I hope you guys can see her. Uh, the Gold of Africa. And I know that um, other people have done this and it comes out beautiful. It is around. It is 16 and a half by 18 inches. So it's not that big. That's not really here or there. I just wanted to do it because I felt like it was, you know, important. The colors are beautiful. I can't wait to like see her up close in person. So I'm just going to do a quick unboxing of her. And no, this has not come back to Diamond Art Club. Who did this? Oh, wow. Victoria Nativa. I hope I said that right. So this has not. And like I said, I got it last year and I never even took it out the box. I didn't, I didn't do anything. I just kept it in my closet. And I kept trying to think, oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And all types of stuff ran through my head. And I just was like, you know what? I'm gonna do this one. Um, let's see. So you get the larger sticker, the smaller sticker. I don't have an answer for that. Oops. Is there something else I can help with? Sorry. That's here. So <laughs> here's the kit. Of course, it has the two heart wax, the pen, the bags, the squishy, and yeah, this is going to be so pretty. It comes with 40 colors. I can see why. There's a lot of shading in her makeup, her bracelets. There's a lot of shading. Her eyeshadow. There's only one AB. I'm just Assuming it is going to be the white, we'll see. And then the little sticker also. And you know what? I thought about keeping the little sticker on the outside of my boxes um, so I can know what they are that are in my closet. I have a picture posted for keeping the pictures here so I know what they are. But these ones I keep in a notebook. I always put my start date. Sometimes I'll put notes to say how it was doing them. Uh, let me go ahead and take this out. Okay. And I'm just going 
sheet. I'm just going to roll her backwards so she'll lay out flat. Now I had myself all set to do the Distracted by Godness, the mermaid one. I hope you guys can see her. I think I may have to lower this a little bit more. The glare. Just a little bit of a glare. Because it is here. Oh, you can see her much better there. So that's what she looks like. Very, very, very pretty. So this is the one I decided to do. Man, I wish I didn't have that glare. Let me see if I can fix it. Let me see if I can make it better. No. If I turn this off, ooh, it's still glaring. It must be from my, it must be from my window. But yeah, she's great. And I have had this literally forever, for probably almost a year. So, like I said, it's one AB and then it's 40 colors. Sorry about the penciling. Y'all know what it is. Unboxings, you gotta hear. Of course, there's a lot of browns, burgundies, tans, some orange. Um, it's not a lot of three tans, cause these bags aren't even that big. Oh, let me turn my light back on. It's not a lot of, there's only two bags and they're not even that big. Sometimes a three tan, that's a pretty big bag. Um, but just to go through the colors, I guess a taupe and some tans, little orange and grays. I hope you guys can see this okay. I've only seen a couple of these done, but I know people have done them because it is um, kind of an older painting. This one is pretty, this burgundy. I really want to see the color that's supposed to go on her lips. Chocolate and the mocha. Okay, there's a great tin. There's a lot of this one, 3607. So this here should really be her makeup, like these three, her eyeshadow, her blush, the lipstick. Those are some bomb colors. Nice. Pinks, purples, mauve. That's the 823. That's a really deep dark blue. I was wrong. That AB is not white. It's this. Let me see that. It's almost like a blush pink. It's pretty. It's a tiny bit, but it's pretty. 127. I don't know how y'all be remembering these colors, but. <laughs> So, 
These are all the colors, like I said, there are a lot of neutral colors, but then there's some bright colors too. I think she's gonna look great. Um, oh, we have these here. Oh, so there are three. Yes, honey, that chocolate. That is what I'm talking about. Give me life. And then 3371. This honestly looks like a really, really dark, like mahogany brown. It's very dark. It goes in the bathroom. So this is what I will be doing for February. Just to show you guys. Yes. March, I will be doing Chuck Simpson. I do have three I can choose from. I'll figure it out later. Um, I just wanted to mention really quickly, I know we always talk about licensed artwork. Um, and maybe this is something I'll probably put, kind of dip my toe into for 2021. I think sometimes when people see an abundance of art that they would buy and it's licensed, they don't really think about the people who want to purchase artwork that's kind of scarce. And a lot of times where that artwork is, is on a website like AliExpress. Um, as beautiful as this painting is, um, I have several where there are beautiful black African American or African women, and they look like this, the head wrap. And there's nothing wrong with this at all. I wouldn't have bought it if I thought something was wrong with it. She's gorgeous. But when this is predominantly what you see as licensed artwork, it's kind of hard to find what, what you want. Um, that's why I always am like for purchasing from Distracted by Diamonds because she introduced the diamond art painting community to Geneva Bowers, which I thought was huge because Geneva Bowers does more than just the head wrap or the basket. And the, please tell me if I'm wrong, DIY Moon Shop, they're another one. They use licensed artwork, even though it's a few, but they do have licensed artwork where it's not just the head wrap or the basket. So I am very much so appreciative of that. I just feel like more um, companies who have licensed artwork need to kind of get on board with that and start seeking out artists that show more differences in the, the artwork, you know, and it's not just for people who look like me. It's just in general. It literally, for me, my opinion is just, it's in general. You know, you kind of see the, the same thing. So you want to see some things that are, that are different for everyone to enjoy diamond painting. I really, really enjoy it. I absolutely love it. I have a whole slew of different types of paintings where they are landscapes, flowers, people, animals. Don't matter if I like it, I buy it. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you guys what I am doing, what I'm gonna be up to for February. I will be posting my pictures, of course. So thanks so much for watching. You guys have a wonderful, blessed day and take care. Bye.